Hello guys and welcome back to this channel where today guys I'll be showing you how to change this in Strava application. So guys the first thing that you actually need to do is go to strava.com and download the application. You can also use the web app but I highly suggest you using the application. Now guys all the second thing that you actually need to do is go and log into your profile. If you do not have one you can always go and register to Strava but if you do not know how to do this you can always go to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of how to Strava videos where you can see how you can do this. Now, guys, that we got that out of the way, let's see what we actually have in front of us. So here we have the Strava application where we have a lot of different things. So here we have the home button, we have the maps, we have record, we have so maps, we have record, where you can record all of your swimming, jumping, all of basically all of your activities that you're doing. You can go to groups and you can see you where you can see all of your, your profile, so you can change your weight here, everything about you, you can go to distance, elevation, activities, everything is here. Also, you can start your free trial and unlock more ways to track your progress if you want. That's another option, guys. Um, and, and let's see what we have in the home button. So we have the connect the GPS watch your computer. You can record using this application. You can also see what your friends are doing. So you can check uh, how much calories they burn, how much distance they travel, uh, how much everything they done uh, that has to do something with activities. You can also subscribe to Strava and you can choose your privacy settings. But now, guys, let's see how you actually can change this in Strava application. So you have to click on the three dot action menu in the left sidebar and select the option, the correct distance. Then uh, this can improve the quality or of uploaded data by um, eliminating outlier GPS data, like in uh, created GPS points and data that is inconsistent with the files. So guys, that is basically how you can do it in just a few steps if you follow them. So guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And guys, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.